Hi dear listeners, I am Kifah and welcome to Understanding Polymer Test. Over my five years experience as a product design engineer, I have realized that verifying polymers before subjecting it for any part of the process or application, it is very important task. And here I am to help you to understand this concept. In today's class, we will discuss about one of the most important tests, which is bold pressure test. In this discussion, we will cover this test by discussing the following point. Standard, required standard to be followed to carry out this test. Then specimens, uh, sorry, then scope, the theory behind this uh, test and why this test. Then apparatus, what apparatus required to carry out this test. Specimens, specimens need to be arranged for this test. And then the procedure, how we can carry out this test and finally evaluating the test result. First of all, standard. For every test, there is a standard and we have to, have, and we have to carry our test with compliance with the related standard. For this test, is, the standard is, uh, the, for this test, the standard is BSEN 60669. BSEN 60669 one now, scope of this test. Insulation material subjected to be used in electrical appliances like a switch and socket. It should be sufficiently resistant to thermal stress. What this means? For example, if I have this electrical appliances, which is electrical socket. As we know, basically this product it consists of current carrying parts, coupled and isolated by insulation material, which is plastic material. So this insulation material intended to make this current, current carrying parties uh, away from end user. And this product will be electrically safe. In some circumstances, uh, like overloading, the temperature will go out, the temperature of conductor, cover conductor, it will rise up. And temperature of insulator, it also will rise up accordingly. So in this circumstances, if we apply external force, so this is case, this is condition is called thermal stress condition. There is temperature rise in the insulation. Now if I apply, uh, if I apply external force in the outer surface, so this force it may cause a crack and de uh, deformation in this insulation material and therefore this part or this uh, and or this socket will become electrically unsafe so our role here as engineer to ensure that insulation material used is sufficiently will, will sufficiently will uh, resist the external force under thermal stress and boil pressure test is a good method to simulate this case now, what is apparatus could be used for this test? Basically, we need for this test two apparatus. First, we need heating chamber where we will put the specimens or the sample and we will heat it up to, uh, to subject it for thermal stress. And we need uh, ball pressure test apparatus or ball pressure test set. What is ball pressure test set? Ball pressure test set, it is a five it, ball pressure test is a five millimeter uh, hardened steel ball uh, with weight about uh, 20 newton. It is like that. This is the ball connected to weight about 20 newton. So this is five millimeter diameter. And this weight, this two weight, will exert 20 newton force. Okay? I can show you image. This is an image for the apparatus. You can see it. I will, I will come close to the camera. This is the ball pressure test apparatus. Here we can see the magnified view of the ball. And this is the two weight. So this is five millimeter steel ball. Okay, 
By the way, here I am referring my book, Understanding Bolivar Test. Now we will speak about specimens. In this test, we have a big flexibility to choose our specimens. A specimen, it could be whether uh, blackness, molded blackness, this blackness should be molded from the same material, would be used as uh, insulation uh, for the electrical appliances. For example, if this is my, uh, my socket, this socket, this is material, polycarbonate. So, same polycarbonate, same polymer, I use it to, in, uh, to mold, uh, to mold this, uh, in, uh, this bar. Same polymers, I will use it to mold bladders, okay? Or my sample could be about a piece of this part. Means I can cut here a small piece of this part and subject it for the test. With which ever is easy to do. Now we will speak about test procedure. Test procedure considered, it is very simple. First of all, we have to determine the temperature, the thermal stress, or on the other hand, we have to, de to, to determine the temperature rise inside the heating cabin. Actually, we have here two options. Test temperature, here I'm calling it test temperature. Test temperature. There is two types. It is, it is depending, depending on the uh, uh, usage of insulation bar. There is two types of insulation bar. Insulation bar intended to retain current carrying parties in position. And there is another insulation bar which is not necessary to retain uh, current carrying bar in position. What means this? First of all, here I will put Retain uh, conductor and position. This is not to retain conductor and position. Actually, if we look to this socket. It is as an insulation box, it consists of two main items. Uh, downside, which is housing, and top side, which is cover. This housing, downside, this housing, in this housing, we are replacing the conductors, the copper conductors. So this housing, it is necessary not only to isolate this conductor from uh, external uh, environment, but also it is important to fix this conductor if it is positioned. So this part called, this part is necessary to retain conductor in position. While this part, top side, it is not used to fix the conductor in its position. It is just used to cover, to cover this conductor. So it is not necessary to retain conductor in position. Now, for First type to for first type the temperature uh, the testing temperature it should be 125 degrees Celsius. Why for another type of insulation not necessary to retain current current watts in position temperature it could be 70 degree Celsius or 40 degree plus maximum temperature rise, which is higher. What means this? In, in same standard, BSEN60069, by the way, this standard is related to household switches and uh, similar fixed electrical installation. That means this uh, standard speak about electrical switches and socket, what test I have to carry on before uh, lunch production for the customer, okay? So in same standard, there is one test called temperature, temperature, uh, temperature rise test. In that temperature rise test, we will subject the product, the, the product for normal use. For example, this is 10 ampere, uh, nominal, uh, nominal current is 10 ampere. So I will subject it for 10 ampere load, and I will bring thermal conductor, thermal, uh, thermal conductor uh, 
uh, and I will fix it in the different places of this insulation. And then I will monitor the temperature rise, how much temperature will go up. After some time, temperature will become constant. It will not rise up anymore. So that maximum temperature, I will take it, for example, this cover, we speak about this cover, I will take the maximum temperature rise here will be, or, or usually it will be 10 degree, 15 degree, usually, okay? So consider it as 15 degree. So I will take 15 degree plus 40, it will, uh, it will be 65 degree. So here, 70 degree is more than 65 degree. Then I will consider 70 degree Celsius as my, as my uh, testing temperature. So this, so this is first point, fixing the required temperature inside heating cabin. After that, I will take the bar, I will take the bar, uh, intended bar, blackus, or piece of the insulation material. We will position it inside the heating cabin. Then I will position it inside the heating cabin. This is the bar, for example. This is the This is base. I will put this is the my bar. This is my bar. I will place it inside the heating cabin. Okay, this is heating cabin. Okay, the temperature I will consider this bar, which is uh, uh, to, uh, used to retain uh, to retain uh, conductor in position. So the temperature should be 125 Celsius degree. So this is the base of the insulation material. I put it in the base inside the heating cabin. Then I, I, I will place the uh, ball pressure test apparatus over the surface. Okay, so this is the 20 in newton force. I will keep this condition for a duration of one hour. I will show you the set of this test. It will be like this. I will become I will come close to the camera. I don't know if it is a clear or not clear. Okay, so now what I will do, after one hour, I will take out the, the sample from the heating cabin and I will cool it down to approximately room temperature by emerging it inside uh, cool water. And then I will evaluate the result. So what result I had to evaluate in this test? Actually, after replacing this ball over the surface, over the surface of the uh, tested sample, ball impression, uh, uh, this ball will cause impression inside this surface, like that. This is the surface. This is ball impression. Now my rule here to check how much the depth of this impression. If it is more, if it is less than two mm of impression, this or equal two millimeter, okay, of impression. This or equal two millimeter, then the test is get passed. If it is over two millimeter, then the test is failed and material not suitable to be used in electrical appliances in this case. So this is briefly the test. I hope you understand my explanation. Thank you for watching me and have a good day.